So the D23 Expo is done for this year. I'm Dan from ThemeParkNuts.com and today we're going to watch and react to the Practically Perfect Parks announcements from D23 2019. Hi friends, um, so I had a very long video that I put together that had me reacting to basically the entire Epcot portion of the D23 Parks and Resorts panel. Um, but for some reason, my software that I'm using to overlay the picture on top of the picture uh, isn't working. And it's not the kind of video that really makes sense without seeing both me and the source video. So I'm canning that. It just so happens that D23 yesterday, around the time that I was filming my Theme Park News in a Minute uh, video for the week, um, put out a summary video of all the park stuff. So this isn't my first reaction to all of this news, but um, I thought it might be worth just having a little bit of a watch, see if there's anything that I missed. Um, you should check out my video from my Theme Park News in a Minute video. Um, from yesterday, or Friday, because I packed more into that news update than I ever have before, and yeah, I thought I was going to lose my voice, and I didn't think anyone would understand me, but turns out people have, so that's cool. So yeah, check out uh, the news in a minute from Friday, but today, let's just watch the Expo Announcements video and see what it's all about. Here we go. All right, so it's three minutes 48 of theme park announcements, which there was a lot of theme park announcements. Okay. We're bringing Disney magic to nearly every corner of the globe. So they did the facade. Magic happens. For... An all-new parade that will soon be going down the middle of Main Street, USA. Magic and it happens. celebrates cool. awe-inspiring moments amazing. of magic that are at the heart I'm excited. of That's so many land. Disney stories. I thought maybe we'll get our blood pumping with a little sneak peek. And to help us, we have a very special guest. Recording artist and actor, Jordan Fisher. We're creating immersive superhero lands at Disneyland Paris and Disney California I'm Adventure sorry. that will be unlike any other. Okay, so Starting with the first system. ever Spider-Man themed attraction yeah, at a Disney park. Interesting the whole web slinger thing. For the thing very first time, you know, Walt Disney, Disney Imagineering, remember. Walt Disney Animation Studios like have joined ride. forces with Cirque du Soleil Cirque. to create a show that Cirque. combines Cirque. Disney Cirque. storytelling and heart with Cirque's unique artistry and theatrical sensibility. I'm so intrigued. You know, Walt said that know, Epcot would it, always be in the state of to. becoming. We began to envision so what will be the, news, the biggest news. transformation oh of God. any park we've ever accomplished. Three new neighborhoods will spring up. World nature, world discovery, and world celebration. Mm. I like that. I legend Dick Van Dyke. We all love Mary Poppins cool uh, 65 years. Why do you think it continues to mean so much to so many people? Walt Disney was a creative genius who looked at the world through a child's eyes. So I'm sure by now you've guessed that we're bringing Mary Poppins to Epcot in an exciting I love way. Cherry Tree Lane. I think that'll look really, really United cool. Kingdom Pavilion will be home to the first ever I've Mary Poppins attraction in a Disney theme park. Many of the it's changes that are coming to Epcot the, uh, will be ready in time for what will be the biggest celebration Walt Disney World has ever seen. It's 50th anniversary. Star Wars Galactic oh, Star Cruiser, so which will immerse you and your fellow travelers special. in that galaxy far, far away. For the first time, both kids and grown-ups alike will get to face off against a training remote while wielding a lightsaber. Disney Genie has capabilities that can Again, help make the I'll most out of your it visit. It will put customized itineraries geared towards your interest at your fingertips. Since 1998, Disney Cruise Line That's has brought cool. Disney um, stories to um, life. And we yeah. thought this would be an incredible opportunity to add another unique destination to our ports of call. 
It's known as Lighthouse Point to those in the Bahamas, and it's found on the breathtaking island of Eleuthera. The end result will be a place not like any other. Today, I am so excited to share the name of our fifth ship. Disney Wish, what a fitting name. Disney magic will be found throughout this new ship, including the three-story atrium yeah, that will be inspired by the beauty of an enchanted well. fairy tale. Yeah, that's awesome. From all of us, at Disney Parks Experiences and Products, thank you for joining us yeah. and okay. never sure. stop wishing. <laughs> okay. All right. So they cut that down to like two Epcot uh, announcements. It's like, hey, we're splitting um, Future World and Blue. Mary Poppins and you know there was a lot more than that in the actual presentation so it's interesting that they've downplayed that a little bit they've shown bits and pieces of it like they've shown the Moana and bits about play and you know, I think there was a shot of Cosmic Rewind in there um, which is the Guardians of the Galaxy coaster um, yeah no, it looks interesting it's it's interesting to watch that knowing that there was like 35, 38 minutes of the hour long, hour 10 minute long panel that was just Epcot. <clears throat> you know, Dreamer's Point, the Statue of Wald, all of that stuff. They kind of downplayed it in that video, so that makes it kind of interesting. Um, they're very quiet on the refurb of uh, Spaceship Earth in that, which I think is interesting. I want to know how big that's been. I want to know how long it's going to take. That's what I want to know. I'm so worried that they're going to shut down Spaceship Earth for a couple of years. I couldn't... I couldn't even cope if we, when we finally got over there that Spaceship Earth wasn't open. That would drive me insane. But anyway, look, I think all the news from D23 was really, really good and positive. Uh, I think um, there's some really interesting attractions. There's some stuff that I don't think they should have announced yet, like the Quinjet ride to Wakanda. I think that's still very early development. Um, I'm excited for Cherry Tree Lane, but I'm worried about what the Mary Poppins attraction is going to be because there's been so few detail and they keep saying attractions. Um, having said that, if it's something like Enchanted Tales with Belle, I'm up for it. If it's just a cheap spinner behind the door, then I'm less up for it. But, you know, every time I hear something like that, I think of, well, it would make a good dark ride. A Peter Pan-style dark ride, where you're going over the rooftops of London with Mary Poppins, I'm, I'm down for. But I don't see that kind of investment. Um, but, yeah, look, I'm really excited for all the new things that are coming to Disney uh, that were announced at D23. Thanks for watching my very quick reaction to the D23 Parks and Resorts news uh, for 2019. We'll be back on Friday with our regular theme park news in a minute video. So tune in for that. In the meantime, you can check us out on Twitter at ThemeParkNut or our blog at ThemeParkNut.com. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, cheers.